Good morning. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this week's edition of Coffee Chat. <laughs> With me, hello, I'm Catherine Oster. For those of you who may not know me already, I am a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness and Coffee Chat is me chatting about how I live and use the tools in my life. Good morning, Lori. How the heck are you? Well, in real time, today is New Year's Eve, December 31st. So happy New Year to all of you. And it's Friday. I'm not going to work today. <laughs> you know, it's like um, the people that I work for at the store, they're so generous. And that is something. Good morning, Loretta. That is what actually I would like to talk with you about on Coffee Chat today is an element of wealth called generosity of spirit. And anyway, my bosses really very much function from and as that energy um, with their staff, with their clients. And so I actually haven't worked on Christmas Eve because that was on a Friday and today is New Year's Eve and it's a Friday. And so they actually, they give their staff the day off if they desire it. I mean, if for any reason I needed to work or wanted to get the hours or required it, they would let me totally. But they're like, no, you guys have the time, take the day, go be with your family. And they run the store with their daughters and they are closing early today at three and they did close early on Christmas Eve. So that, that energy, that generosity of spirit where they are not, you know, it's different. They're not um, functioning from, well, you're my employee, so you're going to do this because I say so, because I want the day. You know, and if they had something come up that um, where they needed to have the day, it's so cool because actually all of the employees, me included, we would show up for work. Good morning, Robert. Anyway, so it's interesting when I look at that with... Um, that relationship of bosses, yeah, they are, and employees. So when they ask me to do something for them, um, like for example, there was like, sometimes, you know, they get busy in the summer with rodeos and etc. And she'll ask me last minute if I can come into work. Because they function from this energy of generosity of spirit, I am so much more willing to rearrange my schedule for them if I can make it work. I'm willing to go that extra step and take that extra time. And that creates. And I'm like, yes. So I've actually, I've had a group of people doing a year long program with me called Money Magic Monthly. And it was a 10 month program. We started in March. And it was all about cultivating, strengthening money for yourself, discovering what your financial reality is and the elements of having money. And we went, we started going into a book called Right Riches for You, written by Gary Douglas. Um, it is published by Access Consciousness Publishing and it looks at money from an energy in a totally different way. And in that book, one of the chapters, it goes through the elements of generating wealth. And one of the elements of generating wealth is generosity of spirit. So, you know, New Year's Eve, I'm looking at what I would like to ask for and create from and as my life in 2022. And it's more of that. Good morning, Linda. I would like to have and be more of this generosity of spirit in my life for myself, with everybody I interact with, and also choosing to engage more with people that are that as well. 
So I'm just going to read you a little bit from the book about what generosity of spirit is. So the fourth element of having money is generosity of spirit. Generosity of spirit is a way of being in your life. It's about living your life with a sense of joyful generation. One of the big things you can do to increase your generosity of spirit is to learn to gift. Gifting is different than giving. Most so-called giving involves a desire to get something in return. But a true gift carries no sense of obligation. We suggest that you learn to gift without any expectation of getting something in return. You don't have to have millions stored away in your bank account before you buy someone lunch or give them a gift that will make them happy or change their reality. The paradox of this kind of gifting where there is no expectation of a return is that you, the person gifting, you receive energetically. Your life expands when you adopt the point of view of generating something different in another person's reality. And back to my bosses, they actually just randomly buy us lunch at work. On front, when I'm at work on Fridays, they'll just be like, they'll, you know, do you need lunch? Do you need lunch? Who, who wants to have lunch today? Some people will choose to order. Sometimes I bring my own and I'm like, I'm good. I got lunch today. But they always buy. And I have never actually worked at another place where that was that. Just on any given day, not relevant to anything. I have had other, you know, like other businesses buy me lunch at Christmas time or whatever for a reason. But these people, they're just so happy to like gift it. It's really cool. Anyway, so a little bit more on generosity of spirit. <clears throat> the thing, the thing about generosity of spirit is that it's a place where you're grateful. Um, when people are miserly, they have no generosity of spirit. Generosity of spirit is being glad for other people when they have money. It's being grateful when other people receive something. And it's also the willingness to recognize when you can gift to somebody and they can receive it and when they cannot. When people lack generosity, it's because they figure that everybody is going to try to take their money. If you don't have generosity of spirit, you can't enjoy what you have because you are always assuming you're going to lose it or somebody is going to take it. So you spend your entire life protecting yourself from anybody taking your money. A lack of willingness to have money creates a lack of generosity of spirit. If loss is real to you, then you have to protect yourself from losing money not being willing to create it. When you have generosity of spirit, you expand other people's universes as well as yours. If you are willing to be generous with people and give them more than they ask for, then you will get, maybe not from them, but from the universe. So that is that. Like, and I, I have a sense, I know that I already am this to a degree in my life already. I've always just been, but I would say that I was maybe more unconsciously giving. And what I'm asking for is to strengthen and substantiate the energy of generosity of spirit in my life. 
for myself <laughs> with other people that I engage with and to like pull more of that in. And so that actually, that's, that's what I'm asking for in 2022. And to increase the wealth of my life and of my being from and as this energy of generosity of spirit. Um, when I look back on 2021, that definitely has increased, especially doing this program. You know, I talked about that Money Magic Monthly, and we just had a call this last week. And one of the participants, I mean, it's talking about money, but not from like, cause you can have, you can be rich, you can have lots of money, but are you actually wealthy? Are you enjoying it? Are you having this joyful experience of living with it? Or are you always worried about where you're losing money and when you're going to lose it and when it's going to go away? So people that are rich can still suffer from this energy of lack and scarcity prosperity, abundance, generosity of spirit. You don't have to have a lot of money or any money to actually start to create from and as those energies and begin to generate a wealth that is more substantial and ever giving. And that actually, that. And as you have more wealth, you know, um, you can create greater change in the world around you. And another really, so this actually, this cloak <laughs> is, um, it was a choice for me being generous with myself, being generosity of spirit with myself, you know. <laughs> yeah, Robert, I'll have too much money, then I'll have to pay too, ma too many taxes. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, that's okay. So the participant was like, we were talking about money and about how money is, um, money and energy. How did that go now? So the energy creates the money. That is what we got to like in this call. And it's like, and how the words came out and the energy was there. And I'm like, that's exactly what this whole program was about. <laughs> anyway, also be an energy with yourself. Generosity of spirit with yourself. I always noticed in myself, for me, that it was way easier for me to give to other people, not so much to myself. And I've actually been choosing differently, especially the last month of December. Um, and this, so I was shopping for just a new shirt at Winners, and this cloak caught my eye, and it's just like really fun and cozy. And I was like, hmm, maybe I'll buy that for myself too. And I tried it on. There was two. There's also a brown one and this one. And I was like, hmm, that's more money than you planned on spending, Catherine. Are you allowed to have, you know, like that kind of came up for me. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to choose it. It was like $50 more, you know, to buy. Well, I spent another $70, $80 more than I had initially planned on myself though because these were like my body got excited when I put it on I'm like hmm am I going to tell myself I don't have enough money or am I going to be generous with myself and allow myself to actually choose it for me I'm like screw it I'm going to choose it worst case scenario is <laughs> I have to not buy groceries for a week and we just have to eat meat <laughs> Anyway, um, so I bought them both and I'm like, they're just really fun and I love them. Another thing that showed up for me too, since I've been kind of playing with this generosity of spirit is we went for a couple of friends and I went for riding lessons at this new barn with a, with a new coach that we just kind of started training with in dressage. She's by Wetaskiwin and um, we stayed at the barn. We went for two days and one night and the energy of this barn and the staff that works there and the coach and the owner, we got to meet them all, is that energy of generosity of spirit. They were so grateful that we traveled to their barn. They wanted to look after us. They, um, 
they were like allowed us to use you know whatever we required that we didn't have they had this it's called a theraplate where it's like a vibrating machine for horses and they have it in one of their stalls next to the tack up stall and they were they showed us how to use it and she's like she's like use this with your horse whenever you want to you know and i was like surprised because other people would be like oh no you can't use this too much you know it might break or it's going to cost you extra etc which i would have been fine paying with the extra but they were just like no like use it like this is for the people that come here we want your horse to have a really great experience we want to look after you and your horse while you are here with us in the best way that we can and i was just like I received it. We were, we were receiving it. We were basking in the bliss of being at that barn. And I'm like, that, that is what I want more of in my life. We will definitely be going back to that barn. <laughs> it was so good. So 2022 for me is a year of generosity of spirit. More of that. Um, what else is freaking possible and also creating your life you know another thing that i really noticed is you know there's still covid going on different things another variant etc that is still happening but the more that we continue to live the live our life in the way that we can beyond covid keep choosing and creating a future you know like I think I talked about this on another coffee chat, like, should I do classes because is there going to be more restrictions? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to put any energy to that. I am going to create the classes as if there are going to be no restrictions. And if something comes up and I have to cancel them, I will, or we'll move them to online. That's fine. Um, but creating, like continuing to create, that energy is feeding a future that is beyond this reality, beyond COVID, beyond now. So that's what I invite you to look at for 2022. You know, like, let's say you want to go on a vacation. Um, it is a little bit, I mean, there's people that are going and you can, but what if you planned for next winter that you're just going, you know, maybe don't buy your tickets yet, but start to like, put it out there. Well, I'm going to choose this. I'm going to have this, you know, and carry on as though you are having that and what can you create from that energy when you look at 2022 and beyond what if you didn't look from the point of view that you can't or that it's not going to work what if you looked and created from the question of what's it going to take for me to go to hawaii i am going to hawaii when i'm 40 <laughs> which is in two years wait yes Oh no, 2023, I'll be 40. So this year I'm turning 39, 2023, May of 2023, I'll be 40. That winter, I'm going to Hawaii. What is it gonna take? I wonder. So, coffee cheers, you all. Happy New Year to you. And what the fuck else is possible? beyond what we could ever imagine. I adore you guys. You too, Robert. Bye-bye for now.